Hello everyone, my name is Cyril Surongan from Manila, Philippines, and I'd like to discuss recording and editing your automation. Now, in my case, I'd like to discuss doing this in Propellerhead Reason. In particular, I'd like to uh, show you different ways where you can do your automation and find one that can fit your workflow better. I just did a drum loop and I also added a synth that's supposed to build up. Now, I, I wanted to show you the different types of automation by doing two automations. I'd like the volume to go up and the gate of the synth to go longer. And what I'd like to do is first have the volume to go up. So now, all I have to do is go to the track of the synth that I wanted to automate. So in this case, we're in the track of Thor. I'm now here, and as you can see, this is the record automation enable button and it's turned red so now we are ready to automate now the first thing i'd like to show you in terms of automation is to do it manually where you want to move either a controller that's mapped to this knob in my case i'd like to do it using the mouse so let's do it Okay, so as you can see here, automatically, once I moved the knob, it automatically created an automation lane. Now I can just double click on the automation clip and I can see now the movement that was recorded. If you're happy with that, you can just keep it. But in my case, I'd like to uh, clean it up a bit because you can see here that it was a bit inconsistent as, as, I, as I wanted to make it smoother. Now in editing it, I can just call up the tool window which is F8 and I can just select the clip here and we have your automation cleanup and I like to make it maximum and just press apply now when we click on the automation clip we now have a clean movement from the bottom to the top and now we have a very smooth volume up movement now what if I am not comfortable doing it via the mouse. We can just do it automatically by plotting points. I like to show you that in terms of the gate. Either right click and we have here edit automation. Then you will have an, a lane now automatically created for our automation. It's that or you can also as a shortcut you can press alt or option then just click the knob that you want to automate and automatically it created one. As you can see, indication of automation is uh, shown with a green box here. So now we have an automation lane. We can just simply create a box or a clip um, using our pencil tool. Now my shortcut is just press command to shift pencil to the cursor. And now I created a clip here. Now I have an empty automation here as we can see, all we have to do is just plot our dots here. So first, we just press our first dot. And secondly, I can just move it to the top just for the for full effect. And now we have our automation lane without having to record it uh, via a controller or the mouse. We just simply plotted everything. Now let's hear what we have. So now we heard that the volume was going up and the gate length was opening up the same time as the volume as we as we plotted earlier. And, and it's up to you now if you want to do it manually by using your mouse or your controller or you can just plot it. Earlier in the first example, we now edited it in such a way when we cleaned it up by using our tool window and using our automation cleanup. Now you can, don't forget that you can select um, the amount of cleanup that you want, but in our case, I just chose maximum just for you to see the whole effect that it removed all the other dots in the recorded automation lane. So there, I hope you picked up a thing or two. Thank you very much and have a good day.